Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome back to civil engineering zone youtube channel in today topic we are going to study that how to calculate slope of stair okay now in order to start to calculate slope of stair first of all it is important to understand that why we calculate slope for the stair okay dear students remember in the designing of rcc linear stair or in the designing of rcc intermediate ending stair when the slope of the stair is more than the permissible limit so it will be difficult for the user to claim up and down on those stair so that's why we design the best quality of stair to provide a best comfort level to the user so dear students let's suppose we have a stair the total height or you can say the total story height for the stair is 10 feet and given data it is also mentioned that the total size of the threads is 9 inches and total size of the riser is 6 inches. Now dear students, to calculate the total slope for the staircase, if we use the tangent approach by taking the total perpendicular of the stair and divided by total clear span which is called base, so we can easily calculate the stair slope. Now dear students, for this base calculation, first of all we calculate the total number of step by taking the total story height which is 10 feet so first of all we multiply this 10 feet by 12 to convert into inches and then we divide this total height by the riser size which is 6 inches so we can get the total number of step which is 20 so now dear students we can easily calculate the total clear span length for the staircase which is called base of the stair so now dear students if we take the total number of step and then we multiply this total number of step with the thread size so from here the total number of step is 20 and the thread size is 9 inches so from here we can get the total clear span length which is called base of the stair in term of inches now dear students if we divide this term by 12 to convert into feet so we can get the total clear span length of 15 feet now dear students we use the tangent approach of perpendicular divided by base so in this case our perpendicular is 10 feet and our base is 15 feet so from here if we solve these two terms so we can get the tangent theta of 0 0.66 now dear students if we want to calculate the theta so from here we take the tangent inverse of 0 0.66 so from here we can get the angle theta or you can say the slope of the stair okay now dear students Remember, for your information, if this procedure is very lengthy and time consuming, we also use the second approach to calculate the slope of stair. Dear students, remember in this case we take the single step of the stair and we use the tangent approach of perpendicular divided by base. In this case, we take the perpendicular as a riser and total thread as a base. So dear students, if we solve these two terms, so we can get the tangent theta of 0.66. From theta calculation, we take the tangent inverse of 0 0.66. So from this, we can get the angle theta of the stair, which is called the slope of stair. Okay, so dear students, this is our today topic. I hope you will learn something new from this lecture. If you have any question related to this topic, please comment on my channel. I will try to replay your answer. So see you in next video. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.